That's a pretty good price for that. I think I will get that one. And there's also a carnival glass here with the green. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm here in the Villages, Florida for some estate sales. There's some golf cars. Look, little golf carts lined up there with a dog in there. So let's check out these estate sales and see what we can do here in Florida. Looks like there's some really interesting pieces over here. I got this little turtle for a dollar. Look at that. Look at this little turtle for five. That one might say West. Mm, I don't know if it says Germany on it or not. They've got these foo lions. Look at this pottery here for two. That's made in China. Look at this little Christmas tree. That's kind of pretty for two dollars. I like that little tree. Oh, this pottery here for six. I like the speckling on that one too. 1975. Buzzy. Buzzy did it. Oh, that's wacky woman. And you got a little nesting doll. Ooh, that's a pretty thing. That's two dollars. It says hungry. I'll get the the peacock. Peacock. Alright. Got this dog. Looks like a decanter for fifteen. Garnier liquor. Kind of large for shipping though. Let's go this way. So I got some smalls here. That's nice. A little fish box. There's some other books on those there. 125 for that case. Yeah, these look like newer books, and I don't really do a whole lot of books like that. Oh, that's pretty. $125. Is that somewhere in Russia? Teen color plates. Oh, look at them women there. They're having a conversation. And that's a tiny daughter. That's her daughter. She has a hammer in her hand. I guess she's going to whack her in the face. There's a little ship there. Oh, what an interesting little creature. There's some pretty artwork. All right, so we've got some stuff here that I don't want. And then you've got, look at these, these like 1970s dishes. And there's like the stoneware moose mug. Looks like a stoneware bear mug. I only have that though with my hand, so yes, I did not bring a basket or a bag. Looks like somebody painted that themselves. They tried. And then this one. What does it say? Montana Earth something. There's a little bee with looks like I don't know, wax in it. Either wax or fat. Museum of Anthropology. That's a pretty mug. Get a pretty mug. All right. Uh, do we want any of the other mugs? Sometimes we find a mug and we say, that's neat. Hey, look, I'm 50 cents. New or or the Orleans, Las Vegas. Here, let's put this back on this mug here. Get on there. I'm going to put my items on like a whole table so that I can... <laughs> Uh, free up my hand. They've got a couple Kentucky Kentucky Turkey Tuckets. Kentucky Kentucky Derby, Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky Derby glasses. Oh, English is not my second language, but it sounds like it. I'm going to talk really loud because they have the music, but look, this is 15 and the one in the other room was 125. I thought that was kind of interesting. And it's also signed just like the other one, which is, I don't know, it's a little bit smaller than the other one, but $15 and the other one being 125. I thought that was kind of interesting to note. Here's another view of the office that we were in right when we first walked in. They've got this kind of technology, technology. Here we've got the camcorder, 35, the radio for five. Uh, this is neat. Seven dollars for the letter holder. The little jockey guy with the horseshoe. And that's pretty neat though. Seven dollars. I'm considering it. Harold something something. Maybe that's where Harold put his mints. A dollar for the Castile pencil box. They do have these these uh books on different things. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Oh, Wicked. 
That was popular. It's never even opened. How much are the books? Usually they're like two bucks each. Um, considering it's never been opened, this, mm, this might be good actually. I don't know a lot about books and stuff, but I know that it was a very popular play, musical. A Sense of History, A Tale of Two Cities. Uh, that's pretty, I like artwork like that, that kind of Art Nouveau looking design. Mysteries of the Ancient World. Okay, I thought it was worth taking our time looking at these things again. Oh, that's stone. <gasps> that's a Buddha. Eight dollars? That is carved stone. I'm gonna get that. Does it come with this base? Yeah, it comes with this nice little base. So he has a place to sit. Happy, hefty Buddha. It is pretty hefty. And then you got this puzzle. Or no, that's not a puzzle. Oh, they're painted. Oh, that's so cool. Are these metal? These are metal. All the horse and people. For three dollars? Well, sure. I'll do that. Of course I will. Look at this. You get all the little people in there. I'm going to get that too. I am going to get the Wicked Book. I think, I think it'll, I'll do well. Oh, his mouth opens and everything. Oh, and the beer. Oh, it has the handle on the back. Oh, that's cool. How much? Three dollars? I'll get that too. There's some interesting things happening over here. You got this guy here. Hmm. Oh gosh, those are metal. The die. Put these in my pile. All right, I lightened my load and I'm back over here just to double check some things. You've got this guy. He's made in China. Like made of resin. Oh, is this one of them toys? That's one of them like, I don't know, I'm not feeling it today. You got this like weird thing. Yukon, like a souvenir. History Channel Club, something, something. Ceramic things. Those are like clay masks for $3 each. Not really my vibe. I'm not really. Oh no. This Russia Saint Petersburg handwork. Is that? Is that? I'm trying to think if that's glass or. It's yeah. It's blue glass. All right. And then they etched it. This reminds me of a time I was at an antique mall, and they had something like this, and they were calling it like a Fabergé egg, and they had. I believe like $10,000 on it. It's obviously not $10,000, but I'm going to get it. It's kind of cool. I don't actually know how much it is because there's not a price. <sighs> Buy it. That's resin for $2. This is like a little frog thing for 3 It's pretty wood. Might as well get it. It's an interesting, interesting wood. Here's some good wood. That's right. Ashtray. I think I'm good. Is that Pinocchio? It's like a Pinocchio mask. Or Tragic Comica. Mashir e Costumi. So paper mache mask, maybe? I don't know. Well, for $8. It's different. All right. Right, let's head into this estate sale here and see what we can find. I'll get a little basket and we'll walk right over here. Oh, look at a nice bedroom. 45 for the nightstand. Some pillows. There's all these other pillows up there too for three, four dollars each. A hundred for that. Some doilies. You got on YouTube? Yeah. Okay, I do. Oh really? That's funny. That's the door guy. 
Oh, what a nice front door, or what a nice, what a nice room. Look at these eagles. Four dollars for the bookends. Let's go check out the table. There's actually a, a table here that I'm interested. There's a table that I'm interested in. I don't know if it's still here or not. I don't really see a lot of little things. Let's see. There's this table over here. Oh, 425. Well, that's more than I wanted to pay for a table, so maybe not. I don't know how much these are new though, really. I mean, 425 for a nice table. That's not terrible, I guess, but I was thinking more in line of like 200. Okay, we got like a little thing there. Some silverware. Oh, this is cool. Look at this $12 deal. It's this brass. Oh my, that's heavy. This brass pot. That's pretty heavy though. Hmm. And the service for twelve eighty dollars. Look at this though. They've got all these little pots and pans here. Ramekin can for a dollar. All right, let's go out this way. Yeah, they have all these like, little glasses and things. A dollar for this little doodad. I don't know if I even need this basket, really. There's this set here for 75 for the outdoor set. It's nice. Little vases. Angels. Lion. Those lions are cool, too. 28 each. This looks nice, 14. Here's the bedroom. Look at this bed, that's huge. And this whole dresser system, wow. They got a little rug here and another rug there. Oh, and this armoire for 225. Oh, I like the ceilings. Wow. Very nice ceilings. It's important to have nice ceilings in the bedroom. You're always looking up. Tissues, 50 cents each. Well, on the way to the garage, they, oh, not for sale, NFS. For the Dyson, there's some chemicals. Um, don't want any of those chemicals. Let's check out the garage. Some ornaments, these are some newer looking ones. Some little Christmas things. Nah. Some Halloween things there. Oh, clippers. I could use some clippers. Do I have clippers? I don't know. All right, let's check out this estate sale and see what we can find in here. They have the buckets. This is the one with the Home Depot buckets. This is nice. They've got a big hutch right here. Oh, there's a long, long line trying to check out over there. Oh, the bedroom. I think this is day two here. Master bedroom. Oh, not for sale. I see. Okay, so there's actually nothing in here that we want. Right, look, $5 for this box. That's really pretty. It says hand-painted from India. That's a really pretty box. I will get that. I do like that box. Isn't that lovely with all the little animals on there? For five. There's also this other little box here for three. This has like a person on it holding a fish. I think that's a fish. I'm not actually sure. It's three dollars. It'll say made in USSR. It's like a lacquerware box for three. I mean, that's really kind of different. They got the little coasters here. Can't get the darn lid back on there. Look at these little tiny $3. This is made in... Oh, that's Limoges, France. Limoges. $3. It's like just a little miniature plate. It's a nice table, too. The drop table. They have 45 on it. It says sold. I also found this little stone frog here for... I think it was three dollars. Here we are. Oh no, five dollars. I think it's a really pretty green frog. I'm gonna go over here. There's actually some pottery and some glassware. 
There's some antique milk glass. I got 15 on the, looks like a bulging teardrop, I believe. For the Fenton, that's nice. They also have the Fenton Silver Crest and the Aqua, well, the Aqua Crest, I mean, for eight. That's a pretty good price for that. I think I will get that one. And there's also a Carnival Glass here with the green. Let's look at that. I will need to look at it. Let's put uh, these here. Five dollars? I had to check it over very carefully because this is really prone to chips and cracks and although this looks really good i don't see any issues with it five dollars that seems really really good for a ruffle carnival glass dish and that's older that's a that's about a hundred years old and this fenton is really nice too for eight dollars so we'll get the little frog put that in the comp console bowl this little box i thought that was kind of neat i don't know i mean it's just different for three and then of course this one here with all the animals on it for five I thought that was pretty cool too so I'll get that Royal Copenhagen oh, that's pretty collectible for 50, they have fifty dollars on it that's a nice face there too I don't know. I, Six dollars. I like that pottery. There's like this deer on it. There's the lion. All these little animals. I think that's a pretty good price. Six bucks for this pottery. Just really interesting. They have a lot of the cobalt here too and the ruby. I like that. All the cobalt and ruby. It's really pretty. There's a lot of Polish pottery over here. That's nice. 25 for the set of these little guys. So you got the woman and I guess this other guy that goes with it. Yeah, they're 25. The first day. I said earlier, I think it was the second, but it's just the first day. Here's a butter dish for 25. Oh, these little dishes are nice too. These here. That's really nice for $3. <laughs> Hmm. I like that. It's a large platter for 15. These little mice that I saw earlier, I'm, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get them. They're th only $3 each, and I believe they're older from Germany. So I've got like, the three little mice there, and then there's the Santa Claus mouse. So they're pretty cool and old, and I don't know much about them, but I, I might as well just try them out and see what happens. They're pretty. They're pretty neat. They're, you could see how old they are and like this like little felted this little felted material on there is just so cool so yeah I think that's a pretty good thing to try out 